hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be recreating the infamous selena gomez one of her makeup looks i have seen this makeup look all over my instagram all over tiktok like everywhere and i just think that it's so gorgeous and pretty with the like pop of um coral in the inner parts so i went ahead and recreated my version of it so if you guys want to see how i ended up doing this look then let's go ahead and get into it um so today we're going to be doing a selena gomez inspired makeup look so um, I'm going to start off with the Believe Beauty Radiantly Primed Face Primer because it kind of gives you a little glow from within. Um, I'm trying to do like a TikTok on this look at the same time, but it is like low-key so complicated because um, I have like my ring light with my phone and then I have my camera and it's just like there's a lot going on. But <laughs> we're going to start off with this as the primer. I think I'm gonna use Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm like almost out of this foundation. I need to get a new one, but I think I am gonna use this. Go ahead and dot it all over the face. Okay, I'm gonna be using the NYX. This is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I really, really like this product. Um, the only thing I wish it wasn't a little pump. I wish it had a little um, doe foot applicator because it's just easier to put on. I don't like touching my fingers all up in it, but that's fine. It's still a good product. Um, mine is in the shade Light. And by the way, the foundation I use is in the shade Light Natural. Even though I feel like it might be a little yellow and yellowy on me. I'm horrible about <laughs> matching my skin tone. Like, it's so hard for me, especially when ordering shades online and stuff. But... We're gonna make it work. So we're gonna be using this um, NYX concealer. I've seen this Selena look like so many times on like Instagram and like just all over the place. And I've seen a couple YouTubers recreate it. I was like, you know what, I want to try to do that myself because I just think the look is like so gorgeous and fun. And she does, like they place color in like a different area than I normally would, but I really like the way it looks. So I wanted to, you know, try it for myself, see if it looks any good on me. And it might not, it might be a complete flop, but hey, it's just fun to mess around with it and try, you know, other people's looks out. So that's why I wanted to do this. And I did a Taylor Swift recreating her Midnight's <laughs> album makeup. And people seem to like that one. So I was like, you know what? Let's do her bestie, Selena. Selena is like very popular right now as well. Um, so I was like, you know what? She slays. Let's do her. It's in the shade Peace. So we're just blending that in. Okay, so then I'm going to be setting with my She Glam powder. I'm just going to be using the pressed powder under the eyes first. I'm going to use the loose powder side then just to like loosely set the rest of my face. It's your guys' favorite Selena song because I'm really liking um her calm down song that's newer and i also um love rare like that's one of my favorites from her forever <laughs> just i don't know i just love that one and it kind of goes along with her makeup line and everything this is the coffee bronzer from them this toasted cinnamon blush from Burt's Bees because she kind of has the orangey um, bronze like cheeks so I'm gonna put that over top of the Peace Rare Beauty blush. I love this blush. This is like one of my favorites. Let's go in with her 
highlighter because she doesn't look like she has too much on this picture but um we have to use her highlighter it's just the right thing to do <laughs> of course um so we have exhilarate from her this is such a beautiful highlight i have a whole video dedicated to it it's like a beautiful gold so i can link that below if you guys want to see my review on it but i love this product the two products i'm going to be using in my eyebrows oh i did a video recreating kim kardashian's makeup too i forgot about that one not too long ago so i have taylor kim k and now selena i should have done this during the day it's like night so i feel like the lighting's always off because it's like dark in my room and i have to use a ring light and stuff but hopefully you guys get the gist and it still like looks decent set these bad boys i'm going i think i have so many options for eyes okay i was like okay she has a hot hot coral i need to find that in my palette collection and recreate it so i found some palettes that do have a hot coral i don't know which one is going to quite exactly match but the other shades look like a cool tone brown pinky brown so first i have this la reina azteca palette from um cara beauty so i think i might use this one maybe because it has kind of like the hot coral right here i don't know this is so hard let me show you guys and we'll pick one and then i have la dama de flores and this one is also by cara beauty and it has kind of like a coral peach i don't know if that is quite the right one i thought maybe using the ColourPop lust for dusk palette for the um like brown cool tones i also have the nyx ultimate eyeshadow palette in brights um this shade up top is similar i don't know this is so hard um i might swatch a couple i've thirsty by jeffree star i feel like that one's pretty close a jawbreaker and there's the shade suck and there's the shade f if you know what i mean i'm not gonna say it out loud but there's f and there's suck literally the, the worst names ever gonna have suck in on my eyeballs but anyways um <laughs> we could do that i feel like that actually might be the closest in color going in with the lust for dusk palette and i'm using the shade called hot glam it's that brown right there we're just kind of focusing that on the outer portion of my eye and a little through the crease okay everyone i think we're gonna use i just hit myself in the face i think we're gonna use jawbreaker and we're gonna use the shade f you know the rest <laughs> um because i think it's just it seems like the best like hot coral i don't know if we need to try a different one we will but i think we're gonna use that one first so let's go ahead and try i'll show you guys again this is the shade we're going in with if you see the name and we might use some of that one suck as well <laughs> so let's go ahead she has mostly color like right in here and i never thought about putting like a neon color right there but we're trying it today y'all so let's do it go in with um the one from the cara beauty palette as well I'm actually just going to take it down on the lid as well, just like lighter. Um, I'm now going in with the NYX Ulta Matte and using the peach shade up here from this palette. I'm just going into like every peach shade that I own, um, but I'm just putting that a little on the lid. 
my neighbor has a snowmobile and he just revs it and like it's not even snowing there's no snow on the ground he's just super annoying there's no reason for him to be revving his snowmobile he does it like i swear every like two hours like are you good are you good because he just be out there revving i'm like what is this achieving for you what is this achieving for you we're gonna use hot glam again from the lust for dusk and just run that all along the lower lash line Using the NYX Jumbo Milk Eye Crayon in my waterline. And I just use this. Oh, it's in caviar, I guess. I just use this um, to tight line up top because it looks like she has a really dark base at her lashes. But her lashes are kind of more wispy. I always like hate doing this part. It freaks me out. For being honest i hardly ever tight line but keep an eye out for selena right Whew. and now i'm gonna go in with this milani anti-gravity um mascara so we're gonna do that i'm going to curl the lashes first of course I actually really like that my mascara I just got it recently but I think it is like a really good mascara it's the highly rated anti-gravity from Milani the lashes we're gonna use are just like a super natural pair of lashes I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on off camera really quick and then we can do the final thing which is the lips show you my infatuation recently these sparkling ice caffeine drinks with the blue raspberry they're zero sugar they're so good. These and Coke Zero are my faves. I'm obsessed. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Here's the eye so far. Looking really snatched. Um, she kind of has a cool tone brown lip liner. So that's what we're going to do. I have the Ashley Strong Morphe um, Collab Lip Pencil in Gilded Spirit. I thought this one would be perfect because it's just like that cool kind of brown color. So I'm going to go in with that on the lips. For lipstick, we are using the Milani. Um, these are the Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks in Pleasure. I love this shade. It's like a pretty pinky nude. Um, I have a whole video on these and that's like my most viewed video was when I lip swatched these lipsticks. They're so good. They're like high end quality. I love them. Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Sandy. So we're going in with her. Set it and forget it, sisters. Here is the finished makeup look. It looks so pretty. And I always do like liner, but this time I just did lashes and I kind of like it. I usually feel like I have a hard time blending them, but these like naked Ardell lashes are super easy to um, blend with your real lashes. So that made it like a thousand times easier for me, but. Of course, mine isn't exactly like hers, but I just, you know, wanted to try to do something similar or recreate it for myself. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do this little makeup look here. I thought it was super fun to recreate. She is so gorgeous and such an inspiration to, like, women everywhere. I just love her, so um, I wanted to recreate one of her looks. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this come all together in the end. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next one.